Hey, this is Ryan from Just Coach. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to some of the tools in Just Coach for creating and editing programs. Okay, let's dive straight in and let's have a look at the toolkit that you've got available to you, okay? So in a module, we've got the plus sign at the bottom. We're going to give that a tap. And this brings up our little toolbox, okay? So just touching on this real fast, for the coach, we've got add information, we've got text and images, we've got video that you can put in, you can embed web pages, and we've got features like a timer, and we've got exercise info where you can build out exercises. We've got client input content block where you can ask them a question and get them to type in the answer. You can get them to upload uh, photos to you, so maybe it's before and after photos. They can put up any photos they want, and you can assess them that way. We've got multiple choice. We've got date and time so you can grab that information from scoring systems to score motivation for example really really cool we've got numerical value you want to find out what weight the client used you can ask them there so you can track their weight you can track anything with these okay so we've got check boxes as well so you can create a checklist so if you want to allow your client to have multiple answers to one question you would use check boxes so heaps of cool stuff there you can find other videos on that in our tutorials uh, we've got add existing. Uh, if you've already created recipes and you've got them saved in your collection, you can just tap that and it'll drop a recipe straight into a step. Really, really fast, really easy to use. Exercises, exactly the same. If you've already built out a nice little exercise library, which we totally recommend that you do, it'll save you so much time. You can just come in here, tap that button, and drop an exercise straight in. And then we've got other, so if you've got like habits or anything that you've created that you want to drop straight into a module. That's what you would tap there. Okay, so today in this video, I'm actually going to go through these tools at the top and take you through each one to show you how to use them. They're really easy to use, so we won't be spending too long on this. But let's dive in, okay? So let's have a look at text and images. Okay, so we're just going to give it a quick tap text and image. Okay, we can see we've got a nice uh, little editor here that we've put in. All the common features of a, a text editor, okay? Uh, so let's say if we just put, paste in some dummy text into my editor, you can see it comes up on the side there. Okay, maybe we want to put in a heading. Okay, and we just format this. My heading. Okay, we can put in bold italics. Look, really easy, really simple. If we've got a list that we need to make, okay, we just format it as you would if you're using a text editor. Select this, drop in a list. We can go between bullets or we can go numbers. If we've got a link that we want to put in, so links really cool. If say you've got a PDF document on Dropbox, uh, Google Drive, or on your own website somewhere, and you'd like to let your clients or your customers download that PDF from inside your app, you can use the link here, or you can link out to your website. It's entirely up to you. You just select the word that you'd like to be linked. Tap the link, target, okay, uh, open a new window, and we say add, and there we go, we've got a link inside our app. Okay, so now inside your app, your customer can tap that link and download your PDF or access um, maybe the booking page or contact page or an opt-in page on your website, okay? Really, really easy, really cool. We've got emojis. Okay, you've got to have emojis, right? So um, let's check an emoji up here. Let's go with emoji. Okay, looks really cool uh, inside our app. It just ties in with everything that people are using on their mobiles. Okay, so nice little feature. Uh, we've also got image up here. So if I'm adding an image into my um, page, my content block, we can do file upload. So you can see you can just drop a file straight onto there. Click add and it'll upload a photo straight into your content, or you can do it from a URL. So, if you've got an image on, let's say, for example, a WordPress site, you can go into your media library, you can grab the URL of that image, and you can post it in here. Okay, um, that's pretty cool if you're storing all your photos on there and, and you want to keep them all in one place. Um, and then we've got your undo's up here. So, if you're working on, on stuff and you make a mistake, you can just tap undo, undo what you've just put in. Okay, so take out the coolest one and we put in something else. Okay, 
Um, so it's really, really cool uh, feature, really easy to use, and this will be the most common block that you'll use throughout your program, okay? Okay, let's have a look at our video block, okay? Video block is really, really intuitive, okay? It's really cool. It's got one input box that you can use for three different types of video. You can paste a link to your YouTube video, okay? Your YouTube live video or your Vimeo video, okay? So let's do a quick demo. Let's go grab a video. We've got this video here on Vimeo and we're just going to paste that in. You can use videos to build out anything, so you'll notice in our done for you programs, we've used it for meditation, workouts. So that's how you do it, guys. Really, really simple. If you've got a video like this on Vimeo and you want to use a YouTube video, you just pop it in there and swap it out. You can also preview your video, make sure that it's working correctly. The last thing you want is your video to not uh, be working when you send it to your clients. Okay, so let's have a look at the web page feature. So the web page feature is really, really cool for embedding pages from your website into your app. So let's say, for example, you've got a booking form on your website. You would copy your URL to your booking form and you paste it in here, okay? You can put any website you, you want in here and it'll show up in this screen on here. So if we put Google in here, Okay, what happens is you don't get a preview as a coach, you'll see this on the app, okay? So if you have the app set up for yourself for testing, you would simply do that, flick it to yourself, have a look, make sure it works perfectly, uh, and check it out that way. It's important to note here, guys, you can see now I can't add any other elements to this page. The main reason for this is that once you embed a page into your app, it'll take up the entire screen, okay? Now, if uh, you're able to add other elements to this as your customers trying to scroll through that sort of window page here they'll end scrolling down your app and they'll get really confused so that is why we've done it okay like I said it's a great feature for putting in elements of your page so let's say you've got a, a PDF on your website you can embed a PDF into your app if you've got yeah a booking form and appointments form you can embed it in there as well if you've got images on your website you can embed them in there uh, you can embed anything you like okay if you've got payment processes, say you've got a payment button or payment page on PayPal, you can just paste it straight straight into there, right? Included payment system into your app. Um, it's nice and secure and it's really, really cool. Uh, a really cool feature to have in your app. Let's check out the exercise info block. Okay, you can see here we start off with a nice blank um, content block. We're going to put in the title for my exercise. Kettlebell push-up. Uh, you can see, guys, on the right, it just fills this in as a preview. This is what your client will see. We've got a checkbox here for a superset. We're going to come back to that in a second. We've got video. We're going to give that a quick check. In this video, you can put in a YouTube uh, link or you can put in a Vimeo link. I'm going to put in a nice Vimeo link. There's my video. Give it a quick preview. Make sure it works. Perfect. You can see down here we've got the volume. Um, section okay, and we can add different columns for what we need. Um, let's just have a quick look at what we've got. So we've got a little plus sign. If we give that a tap, we've got rest, tempo, time, weight. You can add all these in and and choose which ones you want to be putting in, guys. So um, if if I'm building out this push up workout, I might want tempo, okay, and I want to change that to a nice consistent tempo. And you can see on the front end, we've got set, we've got reps, and we've got tempo. Now, if I'm doing uh, a standard workout, right, let's say three, three sets of 12, I've got a little clone button here that copies it, or I can just tap new set, okay? So if I tap clone, it'll clone what I've just put in. If I tap new set, it'll clone what I've just put in, okay? So it just makes the, the workflow nice and simple and really fast, right? Now you can see up here how it works. We've got sets one, two, three of, of this volume, okay? Now, if I change this out, let's say I'm doing a bit of a pyramid, so I'm going up. You can see what happened on, on the front end. Um, we've got actually now we've got three little sections. If I want to put a rest in, we can use this little tap and put a rest in. But what I like to do is I like to actually put a timer in, okay? So if I tap this button, 
and I come back up and we've got my timer content block okay I'll grab that scroll down scroll down so you can see it I'm just gonna change that title to rest with the timer you've got two different um, functions you've got stopwatch so that'll count up we're gonna go for a, um, a countdown countdown is really cool so the countdown is probably the most common timer you'll use um, and for this we're gonna be probably resting in between each one 30 seconds right so we can use the little arrows or we can just type it in okay Put that down so we've got the rest for 30 seconds if you want to you can tap this button which is countdown before starting which gives you a countdown of one two three and then goes into the timer that you've set for a rest we don't really need it we just uncheck that and um, so that's really really cool so that's how you build out a, an, a simple exercise okay it looks really nice on the front end really easy to use if I'm building out a superset, okay, so let's say I'm I am doing a superset, just for the ease we'll do that. Okay, let's say I'm doing a superset between two exercises, I would use this checkbox up here. I give that a quick tap. You can see that how the superset says A1, and then my next move for that, I'm just going to use my clone or copy button, which is giving me an exact copy below. I would then put in a different move up here, so maybe he's all right, kettlebell squat, say if you're going from uh, upper body to lower body, okay? And we're doing, uh, we've got superset tagged here, we'd say A, A2, okay? And you put in a new video link there, and they basically, um, obviously you would explain supersets to your client, okay? And they would understand that they'd have to go through the first move, kettlebell push-up, superset A1, and they do superset A2, and then they would have their 30 seconds rest, okay? If we were building out... Um, uh, like a proper big superset what I like to do is I would build this out like that and then I would uh, have the three sets that they'd have to work through okay and then they, once they finish those three sets I would have a new step up here which would then go on to the next superset which would be superset B1 B2 or B3 and then once they finish that if we're doing an even bigger superset they go on to the next step and they would have superset C1 C2 C3 you get the picture right by adding in all these um, copies and clones of, of the inputs that we've put in, it really speeds up the workflow for this, guys. So um, definitely use that to, to your advantage, okay? Sky's the limit, guys. Be creative with it. Just because it says exercise info doesn't mean that it has to be limited to exercise, okay? Okay.